and take a look. There has been nine reported shootings here in the tri-state since Friday. So in the last 48 hours, nine separate shootings have left one woman dead and over a dozen injured, including children. We're going to break down these shootings for you in the order starting on Friday, June 2nd. So take a look on the map. So this was on Wyoming Avenue in West Price Hill. Police say one person shot at a city parking enforcement officer. They were not hurt, but their car was damaged. And then look here, another shooting just six hours after the first happened in East Price Hill on Manson and Warsaw Avenue. You can see how close they are. Officers say a 25 year old man was shot in his rear. Police say 29 shots were fired. A gun was recovered, but there is still no suspect. Then just 30 minutes later, officers say a 16 year old girl was shot in the ankle here on Lynn Street, which is just blocks from TQL Stadium. Police say gun casings and rounds were found on a basketball court just west of where the shooting happened. Now, no suspects have been arrested. Then around 8 p.m. last night in Winton Terrace, Cincinnati police say three men were shot outside Jacobs Market on Kings Run Drive. Officers say the three are expected to recover. Right now, police are looking for a possible suspect or suspects. And police arrested this man after a woman was shot and killed Saturday night in East Price Hill. This is 42 year old Jeremy Duncan. He was charged with murder. Let's take a look at a video from the scene. Now, officers say the woman was killed here on Enright Avenue around 9 o'clock Saturday. Police say they found the 43 year old woman with a gunshot wound. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Authorities have not released her name yet, and officers say some people were inside the home when the shooting happened, but they do not know the motive behind the shooting. And all while this is going on, a seven year old that we just told you about was shot. Morgan Parrish did that story. She was rushed to the hospital in Avondale with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Police are still searching for a suspect. That was the last shooting until just before 3 a.m. this morning. Hamilton County Sheriff's Office confirms that another shooting happened at 321 Bar in Sycamore Township. One man was shot with non life threatening injuries. The suspect or suspects fled the scene and no arrests have been made. Then early this morning, police say a person was shot and then drove to McDonald's on Redding Road near the intersection of Redding and Seymour. They then called police for help. We are still working to learn the extent of their injuries. No arrests have been made. Shots fired at police 3150 Evergreen repeating shots fired at police 3150 Evergreen. All officers are okay at this time. And that brings us to now. You just heard scanner radio from the moment shots were fired at police in Westwood. Our media partners at the Inquirer have confirmed that a 14 year old boy filed a fired a single shot at police. No one was hurt. That boy has been taken into custody. So now let's take a deeper look at the numbers behind this recent gun violence. Here's investigative reporter Candace Hare. What you see here behind me is the scene from where a 15 year old boy was shot and killed in East Price Hill on Wednesday. He is one of two people to have died in the past week at the hands of gun violence in Cincinnati. City data shows that they are two of the more than a dozen shooting victims in the city in the past week alone. On Wednesday, dozens of bullets were fired in over the Rhine. But again, there are reports that four people have been shot in over the Rhine this afternoon. I think the troubling part of this story for most people watching and people who live in this area is the fact that three of the four people who were shot are underage. They're kids. These were children walking down the street. That is unacceptable. I just don't know like what's the future holds for this neighborhood and the young kids. This was the 123rd reported shooting in Cincinnati this year. The city of Cincinnati utilizes a place based investigations of violent offender territories or pivot strategy to target violence. This approach relies heavily on shooting data to identify hotspots that then become areas of focus for city and community leaders. On Friday, less than 48 hours after the quadruple shooting in over the Rhine, I sat down with Cincinnati Mayor Aftab Pirival to ask if he believes this strategy is working. Year over year, violent crimes in District 1 is up 24%, and when they take kind of a three year, year to date average, 2023 is 19% higher than that average. Measures that are being put in place in over the Rhine 
are, are they working? They're working in some instances, and in other instances, they're, they're um, making a difference, but slowly. Since this interview, there have been at least seven shootings in the city of Cincinnati, resulting in at least nine victims, including a seven-year-old who police say was shot while playing outside. While the number of shooting victims this year has been consistent with post-pandemic levels, City data stretching back to 2008 shows at least 32 shooting victims this year have been under the age of 18. 32 kids shot is more than any other year on record. This spike of shootings adds to what has already been a year of increased violent crime in Cincinnati. The latest police data shows that year over year, violent crime is up 8%. Candace Hare, Fox 19 Now.